about that. So the first take, my good friend, Mr. Johnny Fowler was giving me a buzz. I made the mistake and didn't put it on airplane mode like I normally do. So um, it got cut out the first time. But like I said before, this is about getting your documents to your client or to your uh, loan officer promptly. Uh, a lot of times we sit there and we say, well, you know, closing is taking forever. We can't, uh, we're getting close to the closing date and, and we're still not ready yet. Well, in some cases, and I say some, make sure that those documents come in in time. So like we do and like we do best, we're going to do a little skit about this and hopefully educate people with a little bit of humor, not making this too seriously, but, but knowing the importance of getting this done. So let's roll. Action. Alex, what's up, buddy? Hey, what's going on, Jeffrey? Brought you documents, brother. Sweet. I've been asking for these for three weeks now. Oh, oh yeah. You know, I've been busy. Why don't you have a seat? been busy just you know didn't, right right didn't think you needed it. i mean you had my credit report yeah i mean that's great the thing is you're not buying a car this isn't a state of loan i've asked you for these bank statements now for a month okay now if you look at these bank statements let's see it's what's today's date do you know by chance oh shoot we're in september i think it's like of course you wouldn't know that today's date it's not important to you <laughs> anyways your closing is supposed to happen on the 29th the downside is these are dated, what, August 15th? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that means that these are now old. These aren't your most up-to-date bank statements, correct? Well, it's the same amount of money that I haven't changed my It doesn't money. matter. Here's the thing, Jeff. Here's what I need you to understand. So my, my underwriters are kind of like judges. They don't know anything about you. The only thing they can do is make a decision based on the facts that are given to them. So imagine going to court. Let's say you're up and you're in court for a murder charge. And you have all this evidence over here that says you're innocent. Are you going to wait until the day before the judge makes a decision to be like, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. I've got this that shows I'm innocent. No, no, but you're a good Then why officer. are you going to do that to my, well, my underwriter? You're a great loan officer, though. I you know I am. Me, you, you basically, you could tell them that it's all good. So you just, I pick up the phone. Hey, Mr. Underwriter. Nope, uh-uh. Jeff's all good. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's great. Nope. He's all good. Yeah, I've known him for like four days. Uh-huh. Oh, he's great. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Give him $250,000. Oh, I'm sure he'll make his payment. Ah, those were old collections. He didn't want to pay those people. Yes, he'll pay us. You'll pay us, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. He said yes. That shit doesn't work, Jeff. Oh, uh, uh, well, 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 okay, but we're still going to close on time, right? No, here's the thing. So, when you provide me documents late, how long did it take you after I asked you for your signed wet signature documents. How long did it take you to get those to me? Well, you know, I mean. You know, come on, a week, two weeks? Yeah, three. Three weeks, three weeks. Okay, we started this process two months ago, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and just like the sign on our door says, we close as quick as we can. Doesn't really say that, but it should. Now, it took you two to three weeks to give me these documents. What do you think that did to your process? Well, I mean, we should be fine as long as I give it to you now, right? I mean, we should be fine as long as I give it. I don't, I don't know what you're saying. Well, None of that makes sense. Like, you're going to make my head explode. <laughs> None of this makes sense to me. How can you be so ir Do you really want to buy a home? Yeah, yeah. We're going to close. I mean, if I give you a We're not. We can close, right? No, 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 no. Listen to me, Jeff. You have to be responsible. I can't trust you to make your monthly payment if I can't trust you to send me your documents. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I know. Yes, you're right. So the thing is, is I need your documents. If I call you, I say, Jeff, I need some updated pay stubs. Here's the thing, and here's the thing for the audience. Anything with a date will expire. So if it's a pay stub, it will expire. If it's a bank statement, it will expire. A lot of people complain, oh, he asked me for my pay stubs four or five times. Well, of course, you were in the process for two months because the couple houses you saw before, maybe the contract didn't go through. But if it's got a date, it will expire. So if you get a pay, Pay check, I get a pay stub. So every time you get paid, I get paid. I get a stub, you get some money. Um, bank statements, every time a new one comes out, send me an updated one. Anytime a new action happens within the bank, earnest money deposit gets cleared. Um, down payment funds get deposited. Anything like that, you need to communicate that and go ahead and give me updated bank statements. We have to have everything to date at the date of closing. It doesn't have to be to the day, but it has to be at least to the week. So these old bank statements, we can't use these. Well, but what about those web documents? I mean, you, you, it took you three weeks. So basically, I am given by our friend, Mr. Agent, and Mr. Agent says, hey, I'm gonna give you 30 days to close, okay? 
In that 30 day window, I have certain things that have to happen. Appraisals have to be done, which can't be done until you sign documents or at least acknowledge them, okay? So appraisal has to be done, appraisal has to come back. In the meantime, you're going through underwriting. And so as you're going through underwriting, when I'm requesting documents, I need those the day of, if not the next day, okay? If I can't trust that you won't find a way to get me documents within a day or two, how can I trust that when the mailman's running slow that you'll still get your mortgage check in the mail, you know? Or if you pay online and your internet's out today, how can I trust that you will get it in tomorrow? So you're saying without those four wet documents, we can't even order the appraisal, we can't put... You Let me can't, tell you the importance you of those documents, Jeff. The processor, just go ahead and process this guy's loan. You wanna to talk to him? <laughs> hey, Mr. Processor, Jeff's here, he said just do it. This ain't Nike, bro. Doesn't work like that, right? Those wet signature documents allow me to order things through the government. You and I can both agree, anything through the government takes a while, correct? Okay. It also allows me to obtain information directly related to the loan process itself. And it also allows me to proceed forward with your loan. So without those things being signed, do you think there's something I can do? No, so you're saying you can't even proceed until I can do this? No. I mean, I guess in theory you could proceed. Per RESPA laws, you could proceed forward. But as loan officers, we should have enough control of our clients. And when I say control, I don't mean this in a negative way, but we are the professionals. So I lack in the responsibility of chasing this man down while he ran around with my documents for three weeks. That's my fault, not his. He doesn't do this on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's where loan officers need to take responsibility as well and say, hey, Jeff, I know you don't do this every day, but it's very important that I have this document to be by tomorrow by five o'clock. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. Now, when I told Jeff I need him by 5 o'clock, guess what he's doing that morning? He's finding a way to get him to me by 5 o'clock, set timelines, set, set dates to get him to me. I need these by Friday, no later than Friday. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, when it comes to documents, the bigger delay, the more delay it causes in the process. So if it takes him three weeks to get this to me, and this is an important or a vital document, it's going to take three more weeks for me to close, in theory. Um, it's not going to because I'm going to pick up the phone and say, hey, Mrs. Underwriter, I know you're doing your job. Do me a favor. Do it faster because Jeff was irresponsible and I didn't stay on top of him and now I need this done tomorrow. It happens a lot. So uh, keep that in mind. Jeff, do me a favor. See if there's any questions, comments, concerns, likes, highs, buys, anything like that on there. You're going to have to like scroll, but don't delete the video. Nothing. All right. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Share this with people that you know that may suffer in this process. I intentionally did not brand Hancock Mortgage, AJ Nashville, anything like that, because I want this to be something we can communicate to others with kind of a third party, hey, this is how it is. So take this information, share it with people, tag people. Maybe you got a friend that you know just doesn't turn stuff in on time. Library books are still in the trunk of the car and they're from kindergarten like he shipped them from his mom's car to his car That's how lady is on things tag those people. We'll talk to you later